So you say Göteborg in Swedish, but it's Gothenburg in English. Grew up a little bit outside Gothenburg. You know, we, we usually try to drag out our friends, me and my brother, to, to play street hockey with us during the summers. I mean, yeah, it was a good place to be. Yeah, he's a hockey player. He played 15, 20 years in, in Sweden. So, of course, watching him, I've been around him and being in the locker room with the players, you close to, you touch their gloves and their sticks. Me and my brother would be hanging around and try to, to get one stick every day we were there. So all of a sudden we would have 15 sticks back home. I think he's got to be the oldest one to be drafted. <laughs> I think the difference though is he got drafted when he was 32 years old. Older have family, kids, I'm alone. <laughs> Young, I got drafted at 18. Welcome to the 2013 National Hockey League Entry Draft. I mean, I only talked to like five scouts. Of course, I thought about it, but it was like, okay, don't have too high hopes. Might have a chance, but it's not too big. So I'm back home sleeping, and then I woke up, and I didn't check my phone first because I wanted to see myself if I was drafted. So. And then I scroll, scroll down, like, okay, I'm not, I'm not drafted. And eventually it was there, the last, the last section. <laughs> what type of hockey player are you? I'm a, a skilled player. Mm -hmm. Good hands. Mm -hmm. Have you had much experience on ice this size? Uh, no, just once when I was 14, maybe. Where do you hope to be playing in September? Uh, with uh, Prolinda mm -hmm. in the 80. You know, and uh, I hope I take a place too. Yeah, of course, I wanted to take that jump. It's a big town. It's a lot of, lot of things to do that have helped me outside hockey. To always have something to do and get my focus and it can just be go to a restaurant or coffee shop or maybe it's a concert going on. It's a lot going on, so you have a lot to choose from. And here's a kid, 21 years of age, drafted by the Maple Leafs back in 2013. 202nd pick overall, just won a Swedish Hockey League title. He's quick, he's got some great hands. I like what I've seen from him. It's helped me a lot. You know, they have the same system. They want us to do it more natural and don't have to think about too much structure. They felt like they talked between each other a lot. They prepare you a lot to not stress out, to know that I'm getting help. If I want the help, I just take it and uh, it will take the time it takes. Takes it away. Janssen looks in, shoots. Janssen scores! Janssen scores the first goal in the hockey game! Andreas Janssen waits, out front, scores! The Marlies are Calder Cup champions! Calder Cup champions! The winner of the Jack Butterfield Trophy is the most valuable player in the 2018 Calder Cup playoffs is Andreas Janssen. These two years have helped me stay patient. And now I'm here and where I want to be. And I feel like those two years were really important for me. It's been a lot of fun. We got very tight last year and to come up together, it was a goal for us. Outside it's been easier too because you had a lot of fun last year and then you come up together this year. And then you meet some new people and then it, you kind of bring the same because you kind of tie with some players, then you bring it to the other players too. So it wasn't felt like the kind of new team starting thing. It was like kind of starting the same team with some different players. So it's been meaning a lot. Right, kind of right in the moment right now, because it's the first year, everything is new, everything is fun. If you get an opportunity so they find something in you, you just gotta keep in that progress somehow and trying to do that all the time and not 
slip your focus. It's not like I've been having a spot before either since my first year, so basically I have nothing to lose and more to win. Whatever I do is just benefits, so I'm just trying to keep that in mind that I don't have a spot. I mean, I'm here to, to chase a spot. I feel like that would probably be my biggest motivation for myself to get a higher spot and to reach where I have wanted to be. And a pass up on the left wing for Janssen going wide, scores! Andreas Janssen! Leafs come away with it again. Janssen looking for three, scores! Andreas Janssen with the hat trick! Obviously, he's a good player. He's got a tenacity, makes people mad out there, which I like. He goes in the, the hard areas, not scared to go in the hard areas, and that's why he has the puck a lot. He's competitive, and he drives people crazy, and we need more like him. the ice, maybe someone is bigger than you and stronger, try to bully you, kind of have to change your mental game, try to, to scare them a little bit, to make good plays with the puck to end up in the net. He's so quick and tenacious on the puck. It's just his hands and everything, it moves so quick and he makes plays very fast and he thinks the game fast. I feel like that I got to play in the playoffs last year helped me to prove for myself that I could play in this league and play in the playoffs too when it's a hard game. When it's playoffs, you gotta try to find a high pace game at the right time. I'm looking forward to have a good ending here in a good spot, get to the playoffs, and hopefully we have a long run. I would say honestly when the playoffs starts and the sun comes up, that's probably the most fun of the year. <laughs>